Frog Leap Studios. Hello, I'm coming to you with another how to play video, and this time around it's the Chandelier metal cover that I did uh, last year. And after many requests, I'm now gonna show you how to play it. And I've also uploaded some backing tracks to my Patreon site where you can go and uh, sign up and you can download them. It's bass and drums and vocals and you can play guitar along to it. And if you do and put it on YouTube or anything, please send me a link so I can check it out. So I'm using a seven string on this song and it's tuned to B, E, A, D, and G. And that's all the strings I use. So you need a seven string for this or else it's gonna sound tiny. And let's dive into it. The first riff is on the third string on number fret number eight. And on the next string it's on fret number six. And on the next is number five. So it's and the strumming pattern for this whole riff is one, two, three down, one, two, three down, and one, two up again. So it's so it's one, two, three, one, two, three up again. So it's And the next finger placement is on the 4th fret on the 3rd string and on the 6th fret on the next string and on the 5th fret on the next and the strumming pattern is the same and the next is on the 6th fret on the 3rd string and on the 5th fret on the next and then on the 3rd string on the next string, third fret, so it's and the next is on the third, on the third string, and on number fret number one on the next, and then a loose string, so it's so combined it's and that's the whole riff and then we go to the bridge which is uh, power chords on the top string is number two and number four on the next so it's we need a little more gain and uh, on number one fret number one on the second string and number three on the next so it's basically a power chord there also and another power chord on fret number four and then number six so the build up is one two three one two three go one two three one two three go one two three one two three go go back the lava's down so I'm palm muting here and releasing it, releasing it as I go. And then we come to the chorus, which is a single string, and it's on fret two, four, and one. And uh, the pattern here is on uh, on the picking side. So here is. Uh, the here is what the cool stuff is happening so it's the muting between the hits that makes this uh, sound uh, pretty cool I'm gonna do it slow And then on the second half of the chorus, you go up the octaves on these notes. So on number two, it's up to number 14. And number four, it's up to number 16. 
and number one is up to number 13. So you're playing the same like... I hope that makes sense. And then we go back to the verse with a little combination here where I also play octave just on the third string. So it's number two again. And number four on the third string. And fret number four on the first string. And number six on the third. And number one. And the th uh, number three on the third string. And I bend these. So the riff is like. And the last one there on the fourth and the second on the top string is uh, like a bending technique that I showed on another video where I released the bend like. So the whole riff slow. And that's the whole riff. And then it goes back to the other stuff that I showed. And the solo part is uh, really simple. I use the talk box, which I also showed in another video. So it sounds a little bit different, but uh, this is the stuff that I play on the guitar. So it's on the second string and it's on number four and six and six and eight. So it's... Uh, and on the end there, I go to the third string on number eight and six. And I do a little small bends around here that you need to feel to get into it. So I go on the, uh, like I said, on the eighth and the sixth. And on the second time around, I go six and eight. I go instead of. So it's the whole riff is. And then we come to the end part, which there are those power chords again. Two and four, and four and six, and one and three. And uh, it's all in the right hand on this riff, playing along to the double pedal, like. And uh, when this continues, it goes to a muting thing where I mute some of the riff and release it on the upwards on the picking, like. And in uh, real tempo, it's. And that's the whole song. So if you want the backing tracks for this and Poker Face, just go to my Patreon site and check that out. And now I will play through the whole song, showing everything I just showed you in context. See you later. <laughs>